uh, we have undertaken the process of signature collection in the Lower Eastern Region, that is Makueni, Kitui, and Machakos counties. Uh, for Makueni, so far we've collected 130,000 signatures uh, against, uh, of course, a target that is 90% success. Uh, we've also collected 220,000 signatures from Machakos County, uh, that is 80% uh, success. Kitui County, we've collected 100,000 signatures, uh, that is uh, against a target of 99,000, uh, that uh, gives us uh, 101%. So you can see in Lower Eastern the total signatures collected so far, and this is the physical ones, not the, we've not, uh, we are about to tabulate the online signatures, it's 450,000 so far. Of course, openly say, you cannot, uh, some of our fellow citizens are suggesting that you vote on a close by close, 78, I don't know how many closes, as if we have not had a referendum in this country before. So, always practice, general practice is what... Um, has to happen. So you have to vote yes or no yeah, on, on the whole document so that we do not again complicate matters for our citizens. So we are set. As I said, this, this, uh, this ship has literally left the harbor and we want Kenyans to know the moment for change is here. Uh, it goes beyond, I keep on repeating, this referendum is not about individuals. In fact, BBI has left the hands of uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta and the former Prime Minister Raila. And therefore, it's not a contest between any Kenyan. This is a document for the Kenyan people. Mama Anjiku, Mama Boga, Kijana Boda Boda, so that we do not end up having an economy and celebrating depravity. I've never seen a country that celebrates depravity. I'll give you a joke. Once upon a time, my good brother William Samuel Rapruto laughed at me loudly. In fact, he was in Machakos, in Makueni. He said, the last time I saw Kalonzo, former vice president, he was sitting on the tarmac. <laughs> and indeed it was true, because I even left my wiper cup on the floor outside the uh, um, anniversary towers, where we were being tear gassed because we wanted change. We wanted a culture of stolen elections to be over. And we wanted that time the CEO of IBC to go home. Indeed, he did go home. Many, many months later, the same friend, uh, William Samuel Rapruto, is seen being wheeled around in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> I wonder which is better, which is more honorable, <laughs> sitting on the tarmac for a course or wanting to perpetuate a culture of depravity by having a whole vice president, deputy president, celebrating a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow economy. That's where we are running from. So that those mamambogas will have beautiful sheds. And so this is it. It's going to be exciting time. I know that Kenyans have been waiting for me to speak. I'm going to speak and I'm going to campaign everywhere for this change because it's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. Again, constitutions are never written on a stone. They're never written on a stone. I know there are those who pretend they're best friends of Mwingi <laughs> County, which is my home uh, area. And I know that the people of, of Gucha the people of Nyambeni, the people of Mwingi, if it was not for the cut of date when those places became districts, probably Mwingi would be a county by now. This is not the end of the story. Mwingi going forward will become a county because they are, the populations are increasing. But let not, nobody should pretend they know Mwingi better than us who are born there. And this is the reality. And people of Gucha, people of Nyambeni, yeah, going forward, this is what is going to happen. I'm sure these things will come. But in the meantime, let us deepen devolution. Even MCS, even MPs, they are even making it now constitutional for CDF.
considers a development fund, World Development Fund. We must bring things from Nairobi to the grassroots and then wrestle with the thieves there because this is a challenge. And you see, Nasema post COVID Kenya, Vijana wana kazi. Lazima tu weke kila juhudi tu atafutie vijana wetu kazi. Lakini yo kazi itapatikana kwa mazingara ambayo hayana wizi, haina wizi. Tio ndio sema kazi kazi bila wizi. The fellows who have stolen from Kenyans are the ones budding around the stolen fortune to confuse our people. May God bless Kenya and give us tremendous victory.